Hey everybody, happy Sunday. This is another unboxing video. Now this time, as you could probably read from the title, this is an exclusive item by ThinkGeek. This is the Infinite Dungeon Corridor. My mom picked this up for me for my birthday. Thank you, mom. Yep, 42 years old, and my mom still supports my hobby. Way to go. Love it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. Somebody had posted this up on the um, Tabletop Crafters Guild. Uh, maybe in January, I think. Could have even been December. I honestly can't remember, and I tried to find the post, but I couldn't to give credit to that person. But thank you. If you're watching, thank you. Appreciate it. So let's go ahead and see what you get. I believe at the time it was, I think, $11.99 on sale. I could be wrong because currently it's $19.99. But anyway, so let's see what you get. What I'm interested in is to see how exactly it works. And would love to see if there's a way to duplicate this on a much cheaper way. So there we go. We're going to throw this aside. Pretty. This is going to be a pretty big box. Actually, I thought it was going to be smaller. Here we go. Ooh. And I got a monkey sticker. Gotta love the monkeys. Anyway, put this box down here. So here's your packaging here. That's the effect it's supposed to have. I'm thinking this is about the, the whole thing is a size. Packaging, packaging, George Classic Illusion, works best in the dark, really. Wall mounting hardware not included. Okay, so this is going to be for a D&D game and other gaming, Age of Sigmar, Frostgrave. It, it could really be for anything. So let's go ahead and see what we get. I do have battery set here for the side. This, all right, this thing is actually the size of the box. It's pretty freaking big. Put this here. Instructions, because we all need the instructions. Box just goes up to the side. Infinite Dungeon Corridor. So set up, that's where your batteries go. Battery chamber, operation. Off the sable. Help. Battery. Okay, just your regular warning. No big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and install the batteries. We'll take a look at it. We'll install the batteries. I'm going to turn off my overhead light. That's up there. You can tell. So we can try to get the full effect. I don't know how my camera's going to do with that setting. So it'll be interesting. It'll be a first. Let's take a look at the overall product. Um, detailing is pretty decent. See the mirror? Hey, you can see me right there. That's cool. Um, you might want to do a wash. You may even want to repaint it because there's no wash, nothing. It looks like it was the standard, you know, quick, efficient dry brush. Hit the corners. You can see the brush strokes up here very easily. Mold line on and off switch is on this side just to make sure. No, it does not work. So what I'm seeing is a double mirror, basically. I mean, this thing does does what it says, even with it off. So you got a mirror here, a mirror behind there, and then the light is here and here. If you can tell. And basically the same thing as that uh, LED um, coaster to make your infinite portal. So let's see. So I'm going to need a screwdriver, which I have right here. And it's, it's actually in there quite a bit. There we go. I guess you were hanging on the wall from here. Oh, let me bring that back down. Right here, that's where you would mount it on the wall. Luckily, I do have a hook next to my workstation. So I can hang it if I so choose. And I do have some minis. Where'd that screw go? There's the screw. I've got some minis over here so we can take a look at it. So you can actually see how tall it is. But I mean, you can tell. Let's see. Got my square grid right here. Suckers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a quarter inches in tall. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches wide. For this purpose, we are going to use the dollar store brand of batteries, because why not? They're a dollar. 
And unless you plan to keep your stuff on all the time, these should last you for a while. So here we go. Here's one. Two. Three. Put this to the side. up. I'm sure one of my children will probably end up walking in right in the middle of this video. This is intended mostly for their game. Nice and tight. All right, let's let's see how it works. I don't really need to turn off the light and they do flicker. Wow, look at that. That is certainly in the doorway. I'm going to turn off the light here. Oh yes, that looks much better. Um, the only thing I can say is, unless you're looking at it straight on, it looks... You can't really tell on camera. But when I'm looking at it, it looks like the um, torches actually converge like this towards the background. You can kind of see it in there. Not really. But this is cool nonetheless. Very cool. Let's go ahead and turn that light on. Okay, and what I'm going to do is take off the camera from my mount real quick so I could do various shots with this. With the minis. So just bear with me, please. There we go. All right, so this is a front view. And yes, I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt today. So you can kind of see, if you're looking at it straight on, what I was talking about. With it curving a bit. So here we have a Pathfinder Goblin. Classic D&D &D Iron Golem. Yes, this is D&D. &D. Uh, this was not... Um, there you go. If you want to look at the stats, not a big deal. Just to give you an idea of size... And your orcs. 40k orcs. Black orcs to be exact. Actually, no, I'm sorry. These are fantasy orcs. So that's what you're looking at there. So these steps would actually be a little bit too big, but of course we're using this for our imagination. And you put the your mini in front of it. Kind of ruins that illusion. As you can obviously see it right there. Because it is a mirror after all. So, not ideal to put your minis here. And this is even a small base. It's not going to fit. Nope. Nope. Not going to happen. So, yeah. If they stand right there, that's cool. But again, the only thing that ruins this is the reflection of that mirror over here. Right in the front. But otherwise, it's really cool. I like it. Um... It says something for the table. Just maybe, you know, just say, hey, it's a mirror effect. You know, you walk through the portal because that's effectively what it's going to be. It's not going to be an endless dungeon. It is, but it isn't because of that mirroring effect, in my opinion. Your opinion may differ, and it's a great thing about this world. We are free to differ in our opinions. So, yeah. Make up your mind on your own if you like it, if you don't like it. Something worth the $20? I think it is. Like I said, the only thing I'm thinking of is probably going to have to repaint this whole thing to match. Well, to actually give it a more realistic, quote-unquote, look. To make it really work. I really do wish the stairs were a little bit wider for the purpose of miniatures. But this was not intended for miniatures. He, please keep that in mind. This was not intended for gaming. This is a wall piece, a display piece. But, you know, we're going to use it for gaming anyway. Um, possible opportunity right here in these squares on the sides to play some portraits. You know, just print something out, put it on there. Or maybe put, type up something like, ye who enter, beware, so on and so forth. But anyway, hope you guys like this review video. Um, I'm giving it. A medium recommendation 
just because of the mirroring effect and how tall it is and how the stairs are if you're going to use this for gaming if you're going to use it as just a strictly a display piece to hang on your wall um it's cool it's not bad i'd highly recommend it for that but for gaming eh, it's okay but again if anybody can figure out or knows how to do something similar hey let us know i just saw actually i just saw dm scotty post up a link on his affiliated page uh, his Amazon affiliated page for a whole bunch of uh, little torches like this big LED flickering torches. That could possibly be a way to replicate this. Hey, let's see it. Go ahead and make it happen. All right, guys, have a good Sunday. Have a good week coming up. Take it easy.